Hi, I'm Michelle Berbere, and I'm here with my fellow artist in residence at the Georgetown Lombardi Arts and Humanities Program, Karen Ashbrook. Karen, thanks for joining me. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. I'm drinking my tea. I always have tea with me and a thermos if I'm at Georgetown, but I'm at home. Um, I'm a therapeutic musician with the program. I play the hammer dulcimer. And I love to attend Michelle's expressive writing class. And today we're here, Karen and I are here to demonstrate how expressive writing works. Studies show that writing down your thoughts and feelings can improve our sense of well being. And I see this is definitely true with people I write with. Oh, yeah. and, it's, and it's true in my own life as well. Karen and I will demonstrate the process, um, this process. First, I'll read a poem. Today, I'm going to read Waiting by Toko Pa Turner. And then Karen will read her response to the poem um, that she wrote earlier. Yep. Waiting by Toko Pa Turner. There is a good kind of waiting which trusts the agents of fermentation. There is a waiting which knows that in pulling away, one can more wholly return. There is the waiting which prepares oneself, which anoints and adorns and makes oneself plump. There is a good kind of waiting which doesn't put oneself on hold, but rather adds layers to the grandness to one's being worthy. This sweet waiting for one's fruit to ripen doesn't stumble over itself to be the first to give, but waits for the giving to issue at its own graceful pace. After I read the poem, participants and I write for about five to 10 minutes. I suggest that if nothing comes to mind, um, just write, I don't know what to write, I don't know what to write, and over and over again until something does, and it always does come. Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. Karen can attest to that. Um, after writing, I first ask participants how they feel. So Karen, tell us, how do you usually feel after writing? Well, it's amazing to me because I, I should say when I start to write, every time I think, I have no idea what I'm going to write. <laughs> and as soon as I set my pen to the paper, it just pours out of me almost exactly the amount of page I have. And um, it feels really good. Sometimes it might be something that I've been thinking that's just been like going round and round in my head. And the poem has a way of funneling it in somehow I tie it all together. Um, <laughs> but I always, I always take a prompt from the poem itself. And it's just astounding to me what comes out. <laughs> um, yeah, participants often um, feel a sense of relaxation after writing. Yeah, it's great. And then sometimes if you're writing about something a little more difficult, the sense of well being uh, comes a little later, but it does come. So Karen, will you write for, uh, excuse me, will you read for us what you wrote um, in response to the poem, Waiting? So here's my Georgetown journal. And um, Michelle, when we're live, gives us beautiful printouts of the poem, which she pastes in. And then I pick up my pen and just start writing. And what I've been doing at home is I don't look at the poem ahead of time till I'm ready to write. And then I get away from my computer and I go and sit at a desk with my journal and I mostly write one page. So this is, this is what I wrote. Waiting makes the waited so much sweeter. Waiting is hard. Waiting for me can make it very difficult to fully embrace the present. I have anxiety. Will my preparations be done in time? Should I do a needed task today, tomorrow, next week? The many to-dos hang over me or feel like juggling balls I keep dropping, but still. I am grateful for time and the wait. 
to better appreciate what is coming, to become worthy, while still being worthy of the great present that is the present. In the end, we must embrace the journey, the weights. They are the goals. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, I always love hearing the participants' response because they make me see or appreciate something new. And from yours, I like the evolution of kind of wrestling with waiting to uh, finding peace with it and coming to terms with it, seeing the benefits of it, actually. Um, I love hearing what other people It's We're all so different, and it's wonderful being in a group together. And I feel like it just opens up the initial poem as much as, and we're learning about each other. It's a very intimate experience, but very safe and supportive at the same time. You had the experience another time where it was a uh, very familiar uh, poem to you, but be it became new again by hearing what the participants had to write, right? It really did, yeah. I loved that. I loved that it, it re not only reinvigorated the poem, but did. It just opened it up for me in a way it never had before, thanks to everybody else. Yeah, really. <laughs> and uh, all the participants are invited to comment on each other's uh, pieces. It's not a critique group. It's just what you uh, learned or saw things differently based on other people's responses. And so again, that, that's fascinating. That's a fascinating process that I feel like I learn more about myself from what other people are reflecting back to me, including you, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. That's how we write as a group. Some participants write on their own in between sessions, which is great. You don't have to. Um, if you'd like to participate in the online version of the Expressive Writing Workshop, where the exchanges take place via email and are actually quite wonderful. Um, we meet every other Tuesday. Please contact me. Um, information is below. You have anything to add, Karen? Um, I hope you'll join us. It's very rewarding. And thank you, Michelle, for what you do. And I am going to just share the screen quickly now with your contact. So there's Michelle's contact. Okay, and thanks for joining us today, and keep on writing. Thank you. Bye. Bye.